Hi, I'm Jessie Ziegler of Threaded Quilting Studio. I've recently released a free pattern called the No Y Seam Feathered Star, and it's a foundation paper piecing pattern. It's really meant uh, for people who are comfortable paper piecing and who might have done it before. They can just print out the templates and go for it. Um, but then I really started wanting to help those who have never paper pieced before learn the steps um, because I know you guys can do it too. And so this um, series of videos is just really meant to break steps down one by one. Um, we'll get through it together and I really want to see you rock this block because there's so much potential. Um, and speaking of potential, I've written the pattern um, based on using four fabrics. Don't know if this is a smart move or not, but the tutorial is going to show you um, how to go off pattern and how to use whatever whatever colors and fabrics that you want. Um, so here we go. Okay guys, first things first, um, I want you to get the pattern if you don't have it yet by going to threadedquilting.com there will be links to uh, get your own free download of the No Y Seam Feathered Star. Um, the pattern has three different sizes, an 8, 12, and 16 inch option. With this tutorial, we're going to be doing the 12 inch. So as you can see, I've got more than the four fabrics in the pattern. Um, I really wanted to do this rainbow block, so let's get to it. Um, the coloring page is also on my website and it is just a plain block that I've colored in to um, help guide me through uh, making sure I have the right fabrics and the right places when I get ready to sew. I'm going to show you now. The 12 inch block has five pages worth of templates. They are labeled A through U. And our first step is just going to be cutting the templates out. So, gonna get a pair of scissors, um, kid scissors, or whatever you have um, around will help or will uh, work. Just don't use fabric scissors, but I don't need to tell you that because you're a quilter. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out around the dashed line um, you don't have to be real precise with this because tr we'll trim later and it will, um, yeah, we, it doesn't even matter if you're um, a little sloppy with this rough cutting. So you can either cut the blocks out in order. I wouldn't even do that. I would just cut up a sheet at a time, cutting between the pieces, being fast. Oh, I should mention, since I'm cutting around it, there's a test square given on each sheet just to make sure that you, when you printed, your printer didn't automatically scale and throw off the size of your blocks, because um, that's been known to happen. So, um, here we go. That's one page. Off to cut the rest. Okay, I have all 21 template pieces cut out. And now I'm going to refer you to the page four of the pattern. This is where it outlines where each template piece goes. But keep in mind, this is face up and we're going to be looking at the back side of the template. So. The thing about paper piecing is you kind of have to turn your mind around a little bit and realize that the side you're sewing to is the back side. So um, this is going to help us decide what coloring we have in each location of the block. So like I mentioned before, if you're just doing following the pattern and doing um, four fabrics, you wouldn't necessarily have to do this, although it is smart to label your pieces in some way. Um, but I'm going to lay these out as they um, face me. Um, the eye template piece is in the center. And I'm going to find my A. It's going to look like this. B is over on this side. Okay, 
fits together like a puzzle. At this stage, I have all the template pieces in place according to the diagram on page four, but face down so we can keep this straight. So I know that A is over here. I'm going to use this to refer to uh, the coloring up here in this quadrant. So I am not going to mark the background pieces. So I'm going to get a purple marker. I'm just going to um, indicate that my purple fabric is going there. My darker blue is here. My lighter blue is here. And the rest of it I don't have to mark because it will be the background piece. So I'm going to go through each piece, making sure that I've marked it appropriately, trying to keep them in place. Um, it's always nice to refer to either your color diagram or the, um, the guide on page four. Mark, you can just do this, make it easy. Or um, usually what I do, I don't even use the markers even though that's easy and it's very visual. I sometimes just take a pen or a pencil and I just write the first letter of the color like P for purple. Okay, now all of my template pieces have been marked according to which fabric I'm going to sew. And now is where I would like to organize these by kind, just because when you get to the sewing machine and you begin sewing, um, these are all going to be done in the same manner. 